So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go through the mind map for atomic structure. Starting on the right-hand side here, right, what we're talking about, we're talking about radioactive decay. Right? And the most important thing with radioactive decay right, is your half-life graph. And it looks approximately like that. All right? And so what you can do is if that's 100 there, it goes down to 50, go across, and you go down, and you've got some form of time across the bottom. So radioactive decay, most important thing is half-life. You need to know about it. Irradiation and contamination. Irradiation, I'm just going to write down here, um, exposed. And contamination is unwanted. Okay, so that's when you kind of get it on you or it's in you, right? And it's actually on, on something to do with you. Uh, irradiation is when you're, you're ex actually exposed to it from external. Nuclear radiation. Right, this is then just some sort of facts that you kind of need to know about. You need to know about a Geiger counter. Right, that's like a little device that kind of makes little clicking noises right, to detect radiation. You need to know about background radiation. You also need, most importantly, alpha, beta, and gamma. You need to know what they are. Alpha is a helium nucleus. You need to know what they can go through, what they can penetrate, what stops them, how far they can go in air, uh, and their charges. So you need to know that for each one of those three different things there. Okay, so you need to know details about all three of them. Isotopes. I'm literally just going to write down the word neutrons, right? Because basically, an isotope is um, uh, two or more elements with the same number of protons but a different number of neutrons. Subatomic particles. Pen. Protons. Electrons. Neutrons. And again, even though it comes up in other units, you need to know details about the masses of them, the charges of them. Nuclear equations. What you might do, and this is like the simplest mass that there could ever be, is that you've got to remember an alpha particle is 4, 2, helium. And it's these numbers that matter. So an alpha particle is 4, 2, helium. A beta particle is naught minus one an electron or it can sometimes be written as naught minus one beta final one rutherford right even though again rutherford comes into other units you need to know his three observations which then leads to his three conclusions <laughs>